know, right after what is the domain. Okay, what we're going to do for this problem is they're asking us to uh, do some operations uh, with our two functions. So we're given two functions, f of x, which is x squared plus 6, and we have another function, g of x, equals um, square root of 1 minus x. So we're going to do some combining of these functions, and, and we're just going to be four different ways we're going to learn how to combine the functions. First way is we're going to do f plus g of x. So what we have to do is, what this really means is to take f of x and add it to g of x. So for a, what you simply do is you just say x squared plus 6 plus, and I like to put parentheses just to make sure I remember what I'm doing, square root of 1 minus x. And I look at this, there's really nothing I can combine you know, with the square root and x squared. So really it's just x squared um, plus square root 1 minus x plus 6. Usually just like write the constant at the end, but I can't combine them. If there was like terms, you would combine the like terms. There's no like terms for this problem, so therefore it stays like that. All right? Um, F minus 6. This is a very important one. Uh, the reason why is <clears throat> um, f minus 6 because we need to make sure we're remembering how we're subtracting. So we have x squared plus 6 minus square root of 1 minus x. All right, now there's only one term here, so it actually works out. But again, there's really nothing we can combine with these two. So it just becomes x squared minus square root of 1 minus x plus 6. All right? Um, and I'm actually, you guys can actually see this, and you can go back on there on the video, so multiply it. Um, yes? Oh, you should the x. Right, the x. Which will be positive. No, we're not going to, we, we're not, we can't distribute that negative 1 into the radical. That's going to remain, remain on the outside. Okay? Because um, that's, that's a function inside itself, so you can't uh, distribute that through all right, um, and actually, I'll actually end that up there. That's going to be my adding addition. I'll make another video here for those other two functions.